Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be featuring some Master League draft video battles from Blazingly Blaze, someone I've covered quite extensively. Uh, they This is an open Master League draft, uh, so it includes Megas. Uh, so Blazing, Blazingly Blaze's team, Blaze's team is Mega Steelix, Palkia, Landorus Therian, Buzzwall, Regice, and Haxorus. First round opponent. They play four or four games. This is actually not in order. I'm just showing an order based off the name. This is the easiest way for me to organize it. Is against uh, my friend Acorn Killer, who has Groudon, Rayquaza, Primarina, Zapdos, Mega Alakazam, and Avalog. So let's let's take a look here. Um honestly this Primarina is <laughs> honestly this Primarina is actually very bad against Brazilian Lee Blaze's team. Really, really bad. Um oh wow, that's actually really terrible. Um Landris, Landris looks quite strong. Just have to avoid the the Avalog. Uh everything else has pretty good play against. Uh, really the only the Avalog is uh, strong against it. Uh, but Avalog also okay against this team, right? So um, this is going to be a pretty tough one. I think Regice is also okay. Uh, Thunder Blizzard, if you're going to run it. But this Primarina is going to come every single game. I, I say that sometimes. It doesn't come. Oh, okay. Primarina is pretty nasty here. I'm probably going to switch to Steelix. I'm going to go to Red Ice. Yeah, running uh, Blizzard Thunder is, makes sense here. And then here comes Mega Alakazam. Uh, Mega Alakazam does have access to thunder, uh, to counter, I should say, so it is dealing super effective damage. They actually end up shielding. Interesting. It does have Fire Punch. Uh, I don't know if Fire Punch KOs. It is a pretty weak move. No stab. It is enough to KO. Um, this is pretty rough here. Going to have to come in Valkia for sure. And it's running Dragon Breath Rain, and these Dragon Breaths are absolutely chunking away. Uh, interesting, they didn't throw... Oof, okay. Uh, not great timing there. The Shadow Ball does a tremendous amount of damage, but the the Palkia is just barely able to survive. I actually don't think this Aqua Tail is enough to... Okay, they actually do end up shielding. Okay, this is playable then. We'll need to shield this, but these counters... Oh my goodness, these counters did so much damage to Steelix already. Uh... Gonna be able to farm down, but man, there's just no way. There's just no way. With no EQ here, there's just no way uh, you can win this match. Because this this Primarina can just reset at any point in time. And uh, you'll have a lot to deal with. Honestly, it could probably just... It should... Okay. It's gonna look to charm away. This is gonna be a Psychic, right? Um, It is a Psychic. Would have been resisted. Oh, here comes Rayquaza. Gonna have to try to catch. Oh, man. There's just no way. Okay. Able to make the catch. I think they went one over, though. I doubt three Dragon Tails KO, though. Yeah. No. No way. Rayquaza. Oh, this Primarina is way too nasty for the team. I really don't. I, I honestly, I think you have to run Landris. Landris is pretty good against this team. Um, yeah, I think the Landris is pretty good against this team. So we will see if the Lando will come. Land yeah, Landris is the answer here. Landris is definitely the answer. You got to bring Landris. You got to bring Landris. But this primary is going to come every single game. Honestly, you, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty nasty here. So uh, I am going to speed this up a little bit here. Okay, going to run it back. Oh, no, run it back with a slightly different variation here. Oh, it is running, <clears throat> it is running it with uh, um, Landris, which is good. Going to fake the EQ. Okay, interesting. Let's see if this Primarina decides to shield. Does not decide to shield. Okay, do you shield this for the potential Hydro Pump? Okay. Oh man, these Dragon Tails are actually chunking pretty pretty nicely. Uh, obviously the charms aren't 
neutral. The drag tails are double resisted though. So, but the second fang is, I guess with the second fang is very much adding up. Okay, gonna throw another psychic fang. Gonna leave with quite a bit of energy. Uh, looking to undercharge here. Okay, no, okay. Interesting. They come into uh, Mewtwo. Uh, not Mewtwo, uh, Alakazam, I should say. And gonna switch out into Landorus. And we will see how these two are gonna play it out. Is that enough for the Shadow Ball? No, it's just a Fire Punch. That actually still did quite a bit of damage. Okay, good timing on the Stone Edge. We will see whether or not they will shield. They will shield, needs to reach the Stone Edge. Oh, that's that's terrible here. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, man, I, I don't know if there's a way to win here. Because I don't know if you can... I think you have to throw versus this. Do you have to throw? You're going to have to throw. You're going to have to throw. Okay. The Aquatel probably wouldn't have been enough anyways. Oof. And not able to farm down there. Oof. Maybe come Palkia first, take the move, then try to catch the second one or something. I don't know. That's kind of a tough situation there. Or bait and then land the land the Stone Edge. Yeah, that's obviously a very tough situation here. This team is really nasty. Um, very nasty, but let's see if Blaze can make some adjustments here. Okay, we do see a good lead here. Well, kind of a good lead. Gonna throw the Thunder. My video is not gonna lag here. And gonna land the Thunder. Very nice. Okay, they tried to catch there. Going to throw the thunder. Let's see if this... They... Okay, we'll definitely survive this. I don't I don't think you shield this. Okay, going to shield. Okay. Going to be able to reach the blizzard. Okay. Oh man, this Primarina is kind of nasty still. We'll easily survive this Breaking Swipe. So Breaking Swipe has does the same damage as Dragon Claw. And then this Primarina is pretty low. Honestly, it's probably almost close to superpower range. Oh my god. No. Okay, well that's okay. You just let this go. Definitely no point in shielding this. Wait the clock. Do you try to lock on down? It's probably too much to ask, right? Oh man. Okay, I guess we're going for it. Oh man, that's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, well that's terrible. That's terrible. Spring Marina is definitely in Aquatail range though. You gotta shield this though, right? Oh, man. I think you gotta build up here. You gotta farm it down. You gotta farm it down. There's not really another way here. And they, they realize that and uh, they're gonna force the Palkia to Draco Meteor. And can this Palkia take down no it cannot it cannot nicely played by the opponent there really close game there uh unfortunately that lock on down was probably a little bit too aggressive should just came into palkia and look to farm down yeah that and then uh, potentially use the uh, i don't know as a sack or something later but let's see if uh, blaze can uh, win one game here Okay. All right. Terrible lead here. Absolutely terrible. I think you have Steelix here, right? Okay, gonna go Landorus. Gonna try to get a shield advantage or something. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, gonna throw the Stone Edge. You're gonna need two Stone Edge to take out this Primarina. And we will see whether or not they will shield. You got a superpower it. Okay, able to reach the superpower. I doubt they shield this though. They do end up shielding. Well, I think you just go uh, Red Ice here and just try to lock on down. You don't shield. Oh, gonna shield, okay. Yeah, they do Hydro Pump. 
Okay, gonna look to land the blizzard. Gonna let this go. They do land the fire punch, does a pretty good amount of damage. Gonna land the blizzard. I think you switch here. Steelix is completely... Okay, they're able to... Nope, they're not able to make it a move. And then here comes Rayquaza. Gonna throw the Psychic Fang. Honestly, you should just throw the Psychic Fang right away. Really no point in trying to build up here. But this this game is over. And you just... Okay, gonna let this go. Honestly, I think you probably shield this move here. But I guess it doesn't really matter. And able to steal one game. Not going to reveal the move and get a farm down. Very nicely played. Able to win one game out of that absolutely terrible team. And uh, we're going to go into this round two matchup against Adam, who has a Dialga, Xerneas, Sologio, So La Gaglio, I don't know how to pronounce it, Verizion, Mega Pidgeot, and Gudra. So Steelix looks okay here. It has like some bad matchups like the Verzion, the Salagio, but everything else is like, and even the Xerneas, but it's still like playable. Um, Landorus looks good, right? Um, but yeah, let's see. Looks like he picked Buzzwall, an absolute terrible lead here. Going to go into Lando. Actually running EQ on Lando. Interesting. I'm not sure for what purpose. I guess I guess the Salagio. They do end up shielding. You get, they only have nukes here, right? So probably makes sense to shield. And then here comes Dialga. Okay, going to go for the Earthquake. They do actually end up shielding. Okay, probably could have made it to the EQ there, to be honest. Uh, it's, they should have been just one off there. But it was still enough to... Okay. Gonna have to go Steelix. But this is... Okay, because it does have, access to, does have EQ. You gotta shield this. Right. Gonna let it go. They do land the close combat, does a tremendous amount of damage. And then here comes Verizion. Okay, in a pretty good spot here, to be honest. In a very good spot. You don't shield. What are they gonna throw? A stone edge at you? Like, this doesn't really matter. They leaf blade. Uh, and in a really good spot, gonna let this go. It does not very much damage. You let this go again. Let's say, like, uh, you do want to make sure that the clock. Okay, yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. And they do switch and gonna be able to land this earthquake. And this should be enough, or very close to take out the Xerneas. Oh, actually, not even that close, to be honest. But this this game's over anyways. Has access to... Uh, not going to reveal the second... Oh, going to reveal the second move here. Okay, I'm not 100% sure I like revealing the move here. Because then, now you don't know if they... Now that they know you don't have Crunch. Or Heavy Slam, I guess. is the <laughs> alternative move. Um... So I don't, I don't necessarily like that play because uh, you did have quite a bit of energy on, on Buzzwall. So like it was very limited chance. Yeah, see here now they're going to come in. The thing is they don't have any... Well, I guess they could have access to Flamethrower. Uh, but this is just uh, five here, right? So it's like just Psychic Fang. Do we see a bait? Okay. Going to let this go. Another Psychic Fang. Let's see how they decide to play this out. They do end up shielding. Gonna switch out into Buzzwall. And I'm assuming they're gonna throw the Psychic Fang. You let this go. This, this thing is uh, pretty nasty for the team. 
Okay, you're gonna throw the superpower. Uh, both of them are neutral. Not choosing to debuff the opponent. Oh, interesting that they didn't decide to come right away into Buzzwall. Does have energy on Steelix. Okay, gonna choose to come into Palkia. Gonna have to shield this, right? Hey, dude, choose to throw the Moon Blast. Gonna have to build up. Close combat? No, they Moon Blast. Okay, gonna throw the Aqua Tail. Maybe hoping to draw a shield, because I don't think this Aqua Tail is enough. It's gonna be close here, though. No, it's actually not that close. Okay, gonna throw the another Aqua Tail. And here comes Verizion. This Leap Blade shouldn't be enough to KO, but it will put it pretty low. Okay. Gonna throw the Psychic Fang. Honestly, I don't know why you just don't throw the Psychic Fang right away. More Dragon Tail, maybe just to throw off their counts. Okay, this then. Okay, this is gonna be close here. They actually probably should choose not to shield this Psychic Fang. Yeah. Um. Honestly, you have to farm down now. They throw the Sacred Sword. No. Yeah, should have thrown the Psychic Fang right away. Uh, then maybe would have put it able to put it a little bit lower. And then would have been in a decent spot there. Honestly, or just throw the Aqua Tail there. Um, beforehand. It's kind of a tough call there. All right, we're going to have... Okay. Ooh, this is kind of bad here, right? Because you know you don't have anything that can hit the... You can throw a Superpower, but you're going to have to dip now. And Buzzwell actually has a very good matchup against um, Verzion, but this Verzion chose not to throw. Good luck to Lunge. Maybe, is there a world where you can win this matchup? You shield this Moonblast? Yeah, okay, I, li I like this idea. You shield the Moonblast. You Lunge it again. And it takes a while for them to get to Moonblast, like 10 seconds, because 6 seconds per... Can you okay a little bit of lag there okay gonna th gonna throw the superpower does slightly more damage than lunge okay gonna shield they do throw the close combat and this is kind of nasty here okay gonna take the leaf blade probably gonna look to take two Oh, they throw an alignment there. That's actually really bad there. Uh, can you survive this one stage debuff? It's probably really close here. Yeah, able to survive and get off another superpower. Do you predict that it's a Diaga in the back? Okay, it is a Dialga in the back. Gonna throw the superpower. And then switch here. And then in a really good spot, uh, Aqua Tail should be enough to KO anyway. So, gonna be able to take out the Verzion there. Running a team pretty weak to uh, Buzzwall lead, but nicely played. Nicely done. All right, I believe this is going to be game number four in this uh, second set of seven that we'll be showing off. Okay, this is an okay matchup. Uh, a, good, a good matchup, I would just say. A good matchup because you double resist the uh, fire spins. They actually do choose to stay. And oh my goodness. Whoa, why? Why? Um, Interesting switch. Could have definitely switched to Buzzwall and Buzzwall absolutely destroys this thing. Um. Interesting. Maybe predicting double weak to uh, Palky on the back. Should survive this. 
gonna shield. Once a control switch here. The Mega Silix went CMP versus a uh, Verzion. I guess so. Yeah, I did not realize that. Okay, gonna let this go. Oh, cannot survive. We gotta go to Buzzwall here, right? Farm down, superpower the Salagio, and then uh, it'd be in a pretty good spot. Okay, this will not do very much damage. We're definitely gonna see the superpower and dip, right? And yeah, then they're gonna dip to dip to Palkia. Oh, okay. You fire blast it. Okay, they're not, they're definitely not expecting the fire blast. But honestly, they should shield, right? Okay, okay, never mind. I said they should shield and they did not. But gonna shield uh, this moon blast. Gonna look to throw the aqua tail. Grab a shield. Grab a shield, or they're in a very good spot right now. Yeah, 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 because then you just let it go down. Uh, they should close combat so they get less farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Gonna farm down. They will throw the Psychic Fang. They should be in superpower range, though. Psychic Fang is definitely not going to be enough. Uh, this will be pretty close, so it should be able to easily survive the next Fire Fang there and going to be able to land the superpower to take out this mythical beast. Very nicely played. And we're off into the third round. Okay. All right. Uh, this opponent has Mewtwo, Meloetta, Terrakion, Mega Bombastone, Mega Charizard X, and Zarude. Obviously, they can't bring two Megas to, to one game. But typically, what happens is they'll back out every game uh, just so that there's some mind games there. So what do you like? Uh, Mega Steelix looks decent, right? Besides, obviously, the Mega Charizard could be. But Mega Charizard X is uh, Dragon Fire, right? So Steelix is actually pretty good. And then um, the Zarude is, like, bad. Uh, the Bomba Snow is, like, neutral. Terrakion is obviously very bad, but still somewhat playable. Um, Palkia looks very good against this team. Yeah, Volgia looks really good against this team. Um, this is a rude though, is is very tricky to deal with. But you have Buzzwall, you have Haxorus. And I guess you have Lando too. So maybe this is not so bad. But I do expect the Zarude to come every single game. And uh let's see. Yeah, here this is a rude. Okay, picked up a very good lead. And here comes uh Mewtwo. Gonna throw the crunch. The Mewtwo should survive the crunch. So I don't expect a shield. Oh, they actually do end up shielding. Question here is, do they have Focus Blast? Oh my goodness, they do. Oh my goodness, they do. That is very bad there. And no defense fall too. Oh man, you're gonna have to double shield here. Or at least shield once. Um... Oh man, I guess you get the farm down. Okay, gonna okay, gonna throw, gonna preserve this the shield advantage. Okay, all right, here comes. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely disastrous. And I believe it is a wing attack variant too. Wow, that is really, really bad. Unfortunately, that this is uh they're just gonna straight dragon claw here. Uh yeah, that is absolutely terrible. Okay, yeah. Uh, gonna superpower. Uh, I guess it's only single resisted. No, it's not not resisted at all. It's actually no, no. It's new, neutral, right? So, oh man. Okay, it's neutral because there's no flying type anymore because they're dragon. Yeah, this is uh very bad. Yeah, dragon claw should take out the Palkia. Oh, focus blast Mewtwo. Let the mind games begin. Oh, that's really uh, setting the tone there. Oh, okay. A lot logical no shield though, to be honest. So, uh, 
Uh, we'll see how they will adapt. Okay, we see Buzzwell into Zarud, the repeat of game number one. Even if you try to win switch at all costs, though, it could still be pretty tricky here, to be honest. Oh, they actually choose to. Oh, man. Okay. They do go for the focus boss. Can you farm down beforehand? Looks like you can, right? Seven? This only should be seven here, right? Yeah, they don't even bother throwing the side strike. I don't know what you're faking here. Just I would just throw the psychic fang to be honest. Just uh, try to get as much damage off the dragon tail damage as possible. Okay, gonna build up all that energy, and in a pretty good spot here. Yeah. Okay. In a very good spot here. Honestly, you just don't shield this. Uh, you don't shield at all here. They throw the Dragon Claw. And then you just let this go. And then you just Dragon Tail down and Psychic Fang this. This is a rune into Oblivion. Yeah. Yeah, you just Psychic Fang it into Oblivion. Yeah, 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 yeah. This rune is actually pretty low here. Okay, gonna throw another Psychic Fang. Forces the root to throw. Okay, I'm not, not gonna force it to throw. They're not even gonna throw a move here. And gonna be able to take out the Zerud. Very nicely played. Exact same team. But the mind games are pretty tremendous here. And we'll see how they decide to adapt. Okay, gonna lead Steelix. Oh, calling the Mewtwo lead. Very nicely done. And we'll see how this is gonna play out. They do throw the crunch. I don't know why my computer's freezing here. Uh, do throw the crunch. Question is, do they bait or do they go for it? They do go for it. Here comes Zarude. Well, this is absolutely terrible for the Zerud. This is absolutely god awful for the Zerud. You throw Power Whip, right? It does slightly more damage, but that's still not that much damage. And gonna look to uh, lunge. Oh, okay. I guess lunge is double super effective, right? No bubbleless. Yeah, yeah, I think honestly, this is such a. Uh, maybe they'll just barely super. Okay, no, yep. It able to counter down if they come back Mewtwo. Mewtwo is gonna not have a lot of fun here. They come into Charizard, and then I think you just look to switch into Steelix here. Okay, gonna go Palkia, and uh, you just let this go here. This is this is absolutely game over. Okay, and gonna throw the Aqua Tail, but really this is this is this is game over. Gonna be able to easily win this uh, game. Barring some miracle, you just let this go here. Uh, you don't want to get Blast Burn. That's really the only way you can lose. And uh, just come to Steelix. Farm it all the way down. Gonna throw the Psychic Fang. I don't expect the opponent to shield because this is uh, kind of a pointless shield. Yeah. And then gonna take it out. And we're gonna go into the fourth and final game of this third set after a disastrous 1-3. Uh, we see Blaze picking up steam. 3-1 in the previous set, up 2-1 in this set. Has predicted the lead in all three games. We will see if we will see a 4-4 four for four prediction on the lead. We see Steelix into Mega Charizard. This is a good matchup, right? Because uh, the Dragon typing does make them weak too. Is this enough? This is definitely... Oh, okay. Did they lag there? Oh, no. Okay, they, it was enough. Okay. I didn't actually see the the fifth Dragon Tail there. I thought they only did four Dragon Tails. They do actually end up shielding here. And you're going to throw the Crunch.
they do end up shielding. Okay. It was trying to catch a move there or something. I don't know. They're going to have to throw two side strikes here, though. Uh, I think they'll make it before. Yes, they will. You let this go. Okay, going to shield. Okay. It's okay, too. Need to throw before. Oof. 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 That is a... Uh, that is very bad there. That is really, really bad. Uh, I think you got to try to... Oh, my goodness. I don't know how you win this game here. Okay, going to throw the crunch, but I don't see a win. Let's, let's see. Here comes the root. Okay, maybe if you make the superpower beforehand. Oh, this is absolutely disastrous here. Absolutely disastrous. Slight miscounts there. I guess more than slight, but okay. Okay, may maybe, maybe, maybe here. Um, okay, nope. Okay. <laughs> There's no maybe there. They're just going to top left. <laughs> Don't see that too often there, but that's okay. 2 2 in their last set. Going against Danny Climbs, who has Ho O, -Oh, Zekrom. Curium, Mega, Houndoom, Machamp, and whatever that new Pokemon's called. I'm not going to G Holding Go. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, uh, what do I like here? Um, the, the Palkia looks good here, right? Palkia looks good here. The Obviously, the last Pokemon is kind of tough for it to deal with. Um Landris also pretty good against pretty good against this team, very good against this team. Uh the Curium is a little bit tricky here. But maybe you run uh Stone Age Earthquake. Um as as the moveset. So I do expect Palkia, Lando, um. Hmm. This Ho -Oh is very strong against the team. Has like two bad matchups though. Um, maybe Haxorus. Maybe Haxorus is uh is playable in this matchup, especially since it's Night Slash. We do see Palkia. Okay, they do bring Steelix. Okay, pretty uh neutral matchup. Okay, they will throw the Glaciate, I presume. They do throw the Glaciate. Can you farm down still? Okay. I think you go, okay. Go for the Draco. Oh, and able to make it, obviously they could throw the Aqua Tail, then the Draco probably would have been a much better order. Yeah, would have been a much better order. Um, this is Shadow Ball. We'll do a decent amount of damage. Oh my goodness, I did a tremendous amount of damage. Oh. It's actually really, really bad here. I don't know if you're going to make it to. Okay, going to go into. Oh man, this is very, very, very tough here. Uh, they throw the second fire. Oh my goodness, this, this is no way here. Okay, yeah, this is just no way here. If yeah, they would throw in the Aqua Tail and then the Draco, or even like triple Aqua Tail, then probably would actually have a very good chance of winning this game there. Uh, gonna throw the Stone Edge, but obviously they have a shield. Even if they don't have a shield, they can just hex down. Very tough. This ho is really, really tough for the team. And uh, brought maybe arguably their best team against the. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe their best team. This ho oh, is very, very, very tough. Okay. This is an okay matchup. Obviously, Shadow Ball does a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, the superpower, honestly, would probably KO this, uh, this thing. So I do expect them to shield. This thing is actually quite glassy. Okay, uh, go go go! Gonna throw an alignment there. Wants to make sure they get off the move first. 
gonna come into Haxorus. Oh man, this Haxorus is not gonna enjoy the Shadow Ball. Oh no, uh, no. Um, okay, interesting. No, um, no. Um, what's it called? Uh, no uh, Night Slash. Palkia in the no, no ho, ho in the back. It must be ho, ho in the back, right? Okay. Let's see what they decide to bring. Yeah, is a ho, ho in the back. Okay, gonna Draco this ho. This, it makes sense, right? There's way more damage. Um, and then look to switch. And it really doesn't matter here. I'm going to let this go. But they wouldn't have backdock moves because Shadow Ball's 55 energy. So uh, this game's over anyways. I'm going to be able to Dragon Breath down. Very nicely played. So we're 1-1 one, one in this set. And we'll see whether or not Blaze can start pulling away from this very tough team. Okay, very good lead here. They come into... Oh, okay. Interesting. Question here is here. Do they, do they Shadow Ball? Or oh, they Focus Blast here? Okay, gonna throw the Earthquake. And we'll see whether or not we'll see a Shield come up. Okay, we are a little bit laggy here on this video. I don't know why. They do end up shielding. Question here. Oh, it's actually a dragon tail. I actually didn't realize it was a dragon tail variant, not a counter variant. No shields though. Uh, if they shield this, then that'd be pretty bad here. Okay. Yeah, just gotta throw the dragon claw there. Oh, they catch on Curium. Okay, well that's good. It's actually very good here. Uh, you come into they expect the oh in the back, right? So you come into Steelix here. Look to farm it all the way down. Let them glaciate. It's not a big deal. And then honestly, I'd probably switch here to Palkia. Yeah, perfect. It take no damage. Well, basically no damage here. And we will see. Oh, here comes Ho Ho again. Are they gonna Brave Bird and Dip? They do decide to Brave Bird and Dip. Should be okay. They'll definitely survive the Brave Bird. Does a quite a bit of damage. And gonna throw the Aqua Tail and should be able to make it to the Draco. The incinerates are double resisted due to Palkia's water and dragon typing. And gonna be able to Draco Meteor this um this ho. -Oh. We're gonna say goodbye to ho. -Oh. Very nicely played. Nicely done. And now up 2-1 in this fourth of seven sets. Against a very pretty honestly, pretty tough team. And uh okay. That has a much better matchup with a Dragon Tail. Especially they maybe they don't anticipate the surf. Do expect a shield. The spray bird would come pretty close to one shotting. They actually end up throwing the sacred fire. And gonna throw the surf. We'll see whether or not this ho oh, oh, will respect the surf. It does not. And then here comes Salagio. Not Salagio. <laughs> uh, G Holdio, whatever it's called. And uh try to catch a shadow ball there. They do throw a Shadow Ball, does a tremendous amount of damage. And gonna throw the Stone Edge. And we will see whether or not they choose a shield. They do actually end up choosing the shield. I think he let this go, to be honest. And then farm it down with the uh, Haxorus. I, in my opinion, is the better play, but either one's kind of okay. 
Okay, gonna go Haxorus here, and they do immediately switch out into Curium. Can you make it? You definitely cannot make it. Gonna have to shield this, right? It should be a Dragon Claw. Can you farm down? Looks like you can. Okay, not gonna risk it. No point in risking it. I, I like that this play. No point in risking it. Because this hoe is too low. And this Slugia. Uh, not Slugia. I don't know why you call it Slugia. Way too low as well. Picking up a 3 1 in this set. Very nice. Now we're starting to roll and go against Frostfair, another talented battler who has Kyogre, Giratina Alter, Eveltal, Excadrill, Neolago, Mega Altaria. So Palkia looks absolutely phenomenal versus this team. Really, really good. Um, Palkia is going to absolutely ruin this team. Um, the Mega Steelix is okay. Not great. Has a really good matchup against Mega Altaria, which I don't expect to come too much. Neolago, um, Giratina Altered, but has only pretty bad matchups against Eveltal, really bad matchup against Kyogre, and really bad match against Extra Drills. It's very much like an RPS type Pokemon with very little counterplay. Uh, maybe, um, honestly, this Giratina Altered is pretty tough here. Giratina Altered is going to come every single game. Maybe you run Landorus. Landorus also looks okay, but Palkia, Landorus, maybe Mega Steelix. You try to bait out. Okay. Uh, okay. Gonna run Double Dragon in the back. And oh, interesting. There is running a Dragon Tail variant. Okay. Let's see how they're gonna decide to play this. Go for the Dragon Claw. They'll definitely survive the Dragon Claw. Oh, they actually choose in to shield this. Okay, doesn't quite KO. I'm gonna throw the Dragon Claw. Probably does more damage than the. Okay. They must have an answer. They, well, there's no answer to. Uh, there's no answer to. Uh, um... Oh, they Dark Pulse bait here. Interesting. There's no answer to uh, um, uh, to the Palkia on the opposing team. Here comes Mega Altaria. Well, honestly, it's Mega Altaria. Is oh, actually, you know, Mega Altaria is it's fairy typing. I completely forgot. I completely forgot it's fairy typing. I completely. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely terrible. That is absolutely terrible. This fairy dragon type is actually really it's actually a really good counter here. Since it single resists the, the dragon breath. Okay, wow. This is absolutely destroying right now. But you don't need to shield anything from Mega Altaria, right? I'm assuming they're gonna throw two sky attacks. Actually Moonblast here. Uh throw the Psychic Fang. Okay, yeah. Oh, does Mega Steelix win CMP or is this uh, was that lag there? Okay, looks like they lag there, but honestly, they have two surfs anyway, so this doesn't really matter. Oh my gosh, they don't have two surfs. Okay, well, that was a very impactful lag coming in. They don't have two surfs. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised there. Um, yeah, kind of surprised there, but perfectly fine. Palkia is not as good as I thought because I completely forgot Mega Altaria is typing. <laughs> completely forgot. All right. Uh, drill here is obviously very tough. And uh, we obviously get some delay here. Screen. Lag. And it looks like they d did not bring the Kyogre. Interesting. Oh, they did bring the Kyogre. Okay. Interesting. They said to throw it there still. Gonna throw the Stone Edge. If you make the Super Power, honestly, they survived the Super Power and Stone Edge just barely. So, getting to this move, not really that big a deal, but maybe you come in. Um, I like this play here. I like this play. 
Question. Is there enough? Or, oh, they actually choose to throw the thunder. Okay. Is enough for the dark pulse? They do throw the dark pulse. Gonna let this go. Okay. Uh, honestly, I don't think the aqua tails in. Mm, it's gonna be pretty close here. Uh, is that actually a? Uh, let, let's see what how they play this year. They need two rock slides though. This Palkia is loaded though. Is it enough? I don't know. It is not enough. Gonna throw the blizzard. Uh, blizzard would do more than the aqua tail. So, okay. They chose not to shield it and try to attempt to farm down via switch here. Okay. Didn't switch, but it doesn't really matter here. Two aqua tails are already loaded. Plus there's a shield, right? So this, this game's over. Gonna throw the aqua tail. We'll see if this is enough, but even if it isn't, they're gonna be able to drag about down beforehand. I'm gonna be able to take out the Evel Tall. I'm surprised the no shield there. Aqua Tail, obviously, Palky has way higher attack. Then uh but Blizzard is like a what base 130 move. Aqua Tail is like what, 50? 50 damage or something? 55 damage, right? It's like uh it's not, it's, it, there's no way. There's no way it does uh they both have stab, so they would have to be like two and a half times stronger attack. There's just no way. Actually, let, let me look this up here. There's just no way. I'm guessing like Aqu Aquatel does like six sixty five percent to. Uh... Okay, good lead here. Aquatel does sixty percent. Blizzard probably does like. Uh, let's call it Ridge Ice. Uh, probably like 70. The 68. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Uh, here comes Landris. Uh, the Landris into the Evelta. As far as no Giratina, I'm actually kind of shocked by no Giratina. Or the no Mega Altaria. Well, the Altaria worked pretty well in the first game. Shield this here. Four and then throw. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, I guess they didn't want the come to Calgary right away because then. They... Okay. Shield this and farm down. Are they surf? Okay, I'm gonna Draco here. Hmm. A little bit of a dangerous play, to be honest. Uh, but I end up being the right call because I guess they could make a double Draco there. I don't know. It was a dangerous play, but it ended up working out pretty well. All right. I believe this is 3 0 in this set. No, 2-1, two, two, because they lost the first game, right? Because the Mega Altaria. Right? I'm pretty sure. All right, we finally see the Giratina altered. And uh, I guess this is this game's frozen here. I'm not sure. Okay. All right, Regice into Giratina altered. Let's see how this two, these two decide to play it out. Obviously, Blizzard will not be enough to one shot. I'm assuming they have ancient power. Uh, let's see. That actually threw Dragon Claw. What do they need Shadow Sneak for against this team? Uh, I guess Buzzwall. 
uh, Mega Steelix, I guess. Okay, CMP tie, loses the CMP. Could have farmed more, but that's okay. And we will, s I'm assuming no shield. Oh, they actually do end up shielding. You let this go. Probably can make it to the Thunder. I don't think they can make it to another Blizzard. Oh, looks like they can. Oh, they can. Oh, okay. You let this go though, All right? There's no point in preserving this. And then look to farm down. Probably gonna have to take a Dragon Claw though. Well, uh, let's see. Nope, does not have to take a Dragon Claw. If it's Mega Altaria though, it's gonna be pretty nasty. Okay, able to catch the move here. I'm assuming they Dark Pulse here. I don't assume that they Focus Blast. Yeah, still does uh, both moves would be resisted though. And in a very good spot right now. And this 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 game's over, right? This game's over, right? Because this was what is this guy we're gonna do? We're gonna have to throw onto this uh buzz wall, use don't shield. Throw the superpower at it. If you can reach it, if you can't, not a big deal. And you just go straight Draco on this thing. Okay, gonna throw the Aqua Tail. Could just double Draco, but doesn't really matter here. This opponent looks like they're giving up anyways. And uh, Blaze picking up the big 4-0 in this set. Picking up a very commanding set against a very talented battler. And now going against Pet the Cat 21, who has Mega Scizor, Russia Ram, Gyarados, Landorus Incarnate. Mew and Cobalion. Um, kind of a tough team, to be honest. Uh, Buzzwall looks pretty okay. Obviously, the Lando is going to be kind of tricky to deal with. Um, Mew also a little bit tricky to deal with, but and then Rush Ram, depending on what moveset it runs, could also be tricky. Um, Palkia looks okay, too. But I do expect Buzzwall to come in. Uh... Maybe, maybe Haxorus. Hmm. Let's let's see. We see Mega Steelix versus Mega Scizor, Battle of the Megas, and we'll see how these two decide to play it out. Okay, gonna let this go. Kind of a awkward timing by the opponent. They threw it eight. And then they threw on alignment there. Hmm. One in EQ. Oh, they catch onto Gyarados. Absolutely gorgeous catch by their part on their side. Uh, actually pretty bad here. I thought it was a very nice catch. And uh, it is a Dragon Breath Rain. I'm going to throw the Crunch. Okay, I guess because they don't have any charge moves that can really hurt Palkia. Okay, gonna end up shielding this. Shielding the crunch. Uh, defense does fall. Good about to farm down. So my screen is frozen again. Oh man, okay. All right, what's happening here? What's happening here? Okay, all right, okay. All right, re rewind it a little bit here. Hopefully the video will continue. Here comes a rush Ram. Gonna throw the Aqua Tail. And you're gonna throw another aqua. I don't expect a shield this time. Because the aqua tail is only neutral. This is a pretty decent amount. And then uh you come into Steelix and you just sack the Steelix, right? No point in uh saving the Steelix. Okay, we will find out after this video stops freezing on me. Hmm.
Okay. All right, hopefully we are back in business here. And then actually choosing to come into, uh, I guess this makes sense, but choosing to come into the Landers. They do Fusion Flare. Gonna throw the um, Superpower. Do expect them to shield. You switch out into Steelix. And honestly, the Crunch would kind of a... Uh, you do throw the Night Slash, does not enough to KO. Can the Steelix make it to a crunch? We will find out. Cannot. Oof, that's kind of bad here. Superpower will KO. Choosing not to throw the uh, Superpower. They throw the Iron Head. Oh, oh, should have Stone Edge there, to be honest, because then you need to fast move down this... Uh, this rush ramp still oh and the stone edge would have been ah the stone edge would have did more damage right because 85 versus 100 um yeah the iron head was a very nice play by the opponent okay let's look at trying to decide here pat the cat Petting the cat while picking teams. Please just pick a team. Come on, Pat. Oh, okay. I went too far. Definitely went too far. Oh, I went way too far. Okay. All right. Steelix. Okay. Very good lead here. Well, decent lead. Doesn't have an immediate answer into... Uh, into Gyarados, but still okay situation here. Can I throw the Crunch? I don't know what, why not throw the Crunch right away. Chance for the debuff. Gonna have to shield this, right? Or do you let this go? Oh, they're gonna make it to another one here. Oof. We got the double shield here, right? Oof, that's very bad here. Gonna farm down. Oof, oof, that's that's pretty nasty here. Let's see what they do. Okay, gonna go straight into uh Palkia. They will throw the night slash. And then here comes Reshiram. Gonna throw the Aqua Tail. Do expect one shield. The first shield makes the most sense because they could obviously just Draco. The question is here, do they shield the second time? They do not. You come into Lando. Oh, gonna throw the Crunch right away, okay. Okay, this is okay though. Now, now you can just farm down the, farm down the, farm down the Reshiram and then Stone Edge the, Stone Edge the, ooh, maybe double, double Super Hard? Mm, I don't like this Stone Edge here though. I prefer the double Super Hard, but able to win the game anyway, so. able to win the game. I think the double superpower would have been enough, but maybe that was a safer play. Okay, maybe I'm skipping ahead too much here. Let's see. Blaze to try and decide in this critical game. Game three against Pat the Cat. And we see Lando versus uh, Mega Scizor. This is an okay matchup. Pretty neutral. Oh, gonna throw on CMP here. Oh, interesting. Oh, that is kind of nasty here. Nice play by the opponent. Uh, throwing at a completely random time. 
You do throw the Night Slash. Going to switch out into... And here comes Gyarados. Going to look to land the Crunch. Hoping for the debuff. Does get the debuff. Definitely don't shield the first one. But they should make it to two Aqua Tails before the second Crunch. Going to shield. I just don't think you can farm down, right? Let's see. Oh, no. Nope, they, they are able to farm down, which is very nice. The Scizor is uh, quite low because it did take a super power, right? Going to go for the Earthquake. The Crunch would not have KO'd. Let's see if their opponent predicts that. Nope, they decide to shield. That is pretty bad. Okay, does the Night Slash, is the Night Slash enough to KO here? I don't think so. Oh, it is enough to KO. Okay, going to go into Palkia. And then here comes Reshiram. And going to look to superpower this. Oof. Superpower this uh, Reshiram. Should be enough. Oh, it's actually not enough. Uh, you shield this here? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they land the Crunch, though. Oh, they Draco. Oh, they actually go for the Draco Mirror. And the Aqua Tail should be enough to take out this Scizor. The Night Slash definitely not going to be enough. Even, even if they boost here, it doesn't really matter. This Palkia is at the move. And going to be able to land the Aqua Tail. And uh, pick up this nice uh, third game here. Now up 2-1 in this, I believe. Lost the first one. Won the second. Won the third. And now they are going to go try and decide how they're going to play the fourth and final game here. And will Blaze take a commanding 3-1 lead in the set? Or will it end up even and drawn out and it's anyone's draft at that point in time? All right, we're going to have Palkia into um, Mega Scizor. This is a good lead for the Palkia, even though both moves are resisted. Uh, Palkia does have access to Stab. Aqua Tail, which will do more damage than the Night Slash, but the Night Slash does have the chance for the boost. Okay, and we see the throw on alignment. The Scizor deciding to throw right away. Now you want to farm up and throw on alignment again if you can. Okay, gonna just throw right away. Wants to take out this uh, Scizor, even though the Scizor is not really that big a threat to the team. Okay, they do farm up some here. And then honestly, I would look to farm down with Steelix. Take the Night Slash, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not going to do very much damage. Again, even if they boost here, we'll just take one more bullet punch at most. And then here comes Cobalion. You can survive this. Okay, going to let this go. Going to look to land the EQ. It does have to be careful of the catch. Okay. And then look to switch. Oh, they decided to no shield, expecting the bait. Um, still kind of iffy matchup here. Gonna throw the Stone Edge. Interesting that they stayed because they had two answers to, uh, well, two potential answers to Steelix. Okay, gonna look to land the Stone Edge. Do you decide to no shield this? Because. Okay, gonna shield. They're gonna reach another one. Oh man. I think you have to superpower, right? Oh, let, let's see, maybe you can farm down. Oh, can farm down, and we're gonna see a superpower take out this Cobalt. Honestly, could have thrown the double resisted stone edge and it would have been enough to KO the Cobalion. Picking up a very nice set here, and we are in the seventh. And a final set against the actual Nomad, uh, who has Mega Agron, Lorgis, Garchomp, Zamazata, Swampert, and Hippowdon. Picking up a very nice lead here, resisting the Mud Shots. Obviously, the Hydro Cannon is still going to do quite a bit of damage. This is exactly where you want to see it, too. I let this go. And here comes 
Zamazata. Gonna have to go into. Uh, okay, gonna throw both of these here. That's that's a curious play. Um, gonna switch out into Landers, I presume. I'm assuming this is gonna be a crunch. They do have access to Ice Fang as a fast move. Oh, they actually throw the Moon Blast here. Well, that's totally fine too. Okay, let's see if the superpower is enough though. Um, probably is, probably is. This is Zabazata. Okay, and here comes Swamper. Gonna try to throw on C. Oh, would they actually shield us here? Oh, they catch onto Florgis. Very nice catch. Really, really nice catch. That's actually super bad here. Gonna look to look to land the EQ here. Okay, not gonna look to land the EQ. Um, this is actually a good matchup here since uh, they don't really have to do anything that could hurt Steelix, but uh, let's see how they decide to play this out. Maybe one in EQ here. And gonna land the Earthquake. We'll see if this is enough to take out the Florges, and we'll see whether or not they decide to shield. They do not decide to shield. And then here comes Swampert. And uh, they decide to throw here, but this this game's over here, right? So they, they have a double superpower on Landorus already. Okay, they decide to... They're going to have to shield. Shield here. And then they're in a good spot here. They'll just lunge the Lorgis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this game's over here. I actually don't expect them to shield here, but even if they do, it doesn't really matter here. They don't set shield. Nice. Okay. All right. Up 1-0 in this final set. We're going right into it. Okay. This is an okay matchup. This is a good matchup. You resist Snarl. Obviously, have to be careful of the Moonblast. Gonna have to shield this. They actually decide to close combat and bail here onto Garchomp. And then you switch into... Um, you're going to lunge. They'll survive this, though. So I'm curious how they're going to play this out. Uh, let's see what move they decide to throw. They just throw the Earth Power here. Okay. All right, then uh, gonna, oh, I'd probably, okay, I'm gonna throw the Psychic Fang. It is super effective, but the Earthquake probably would have KO'd, but they, they can reach the move beforehand, so they're gonna have to close combat, though. Nice uh, timing on the opponent's side. The question is, what do they have in the back? Swampert? No, it is a Florges. Gonna look to land the lunge and then switch out into Landorus. Gonna let this go. Uh, they are attack debuff, but still it's gonna be pretty rough here with two shields. Uh, they're gonna go straight disarming voice now. Do you know shield this? You'll survive the disarming voice. Okay, gonna shield. CMP tie on the next one. Okay, they, they catch on to Zambazata. Su land the superpower. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, they decide to throw here. Oh, could I throw the superpower? Um, it wouldn't have KO'd though, so this is going to be, this is, there's just no way here. Uh, yeah, there's just no way here. Nicely played by the opponent. Really nice catch. Really, uh, really nice catch. We see Mega Steelix versus Mega Agron. This is actually a good matchup for the Mega Steelix. And then here comes Orgis. Still a very good matchup for Steelix. And you're actually not that afraid of the Mega Agron. I'm not sure what they were hoping to catch with the Mega Agron. The Megaron, I guess, has has literally has one good matchup, which is the Regice, which the Regice could also have EQ. So uh, I'm not 
quite sure what the... There's two counter users and two ground types. And a water type. What, what is this? What is this? Uh... Okay, very nice. Able to catch the move there. Do you want shield farm down? They come into Mega Agron. Oh, it's a Dragon Tail variation. So I guess I'll have very much versus uh versus um Palkia. Maybe double superpower makes a little bit more sense here. Um I guess it's not a rock type, right? So it has actually a pretty good matchup against the uh, Yeah, it has a good matchup against the Palkia. You gotta throw the EQ there. Nothing KOs here though, right? Okay, gonna shield. Man, I I just don't think the meteor beam KO is there. But I guess the problem is if it does KO, then you're you're kind of in huge trouble. And then here comes Swamper. In a good spot here. Question is here: Do they do go for the EQ? Can have to throw the Aqua Tail. Okay, very nice. And then we will see what they decide to do here. Gonna farm it down and then fire blast this. Uh, okay, nope, not gonna fire blast. He's gonna throw the Aqua Tails. At, doesn't want to reveal the fire blast. And uh, Palkia taking its sweet time throwing this charge move in. The Aqua Tail is enough anyways to KO the uh, Florges. Picking up a very nice win here. I believe this is the last game. I think it's uh is it two one right now? Okay, oh obviously very bad lead here. Gonna switch out into Landorus and we'll see how this is gonna get played out. I'm assuming the moon blast will get thrown. Oh, they catch on to Zamazata, but that's okay. You want to throw the EQ anyways. The EQ does a tremendous amount of damage. They're gonna have oh, this is a close combat though, right? This is four. Okay, interesting. Gonna throw right before the next close combat. They just completely sack it. And then here comes the Mega Agron. Can you survive that Dragon Tail? And gonna look to try to land this second uh, superpower. Okay, is able to connect with the set, second superpower and then gonna be able to counter down. This this game's over. Go right away. Okay, ah, yeah, I don't like the waiting here, but that's okay. And you just no shield it. Don't shield this. The meter beam does some pretty nice neutral damage. Oh, they do end up. Okay, but this is this is fine here. And you switch. Probably could have no shielded to be honest. But the energy is nice on Buzzwall, but it's really not necessary. You're gonna need to land two EQs here. So shielding, saving the shields here would have been better in my opinion. Okay, gonna go for the bait. I'm not sure I like this bait, but let's see if it works. Oh, oh, that is, uh... well, now you go straight Psychic Fang, right? You just go one and throw the Psychic Fang. It does open up some win cons for them. Gonna look to farm all the way. Okay, not gonna farm all the way down. Does have the EQ banked, right? So really no no point in trying to farm down. Yeah, and you just let this go. And the EQ will definitely be enough to take out this Florges. And uh, that's gonna be a good game. Very nice sets, very nice battles by Blaze. I'm also going to be featuring Blaze's Open Ultra League draft run shortly after. I don't know how long when I'm going to do it, but uh, these do take quite a while. If you like, so just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.